if this is your question that I don't understand what the MVC is then you are on the correct video and you will get the answer of what MVC is so I will open sublime and I have a old project here but before that I will tell you MVC stands for model view and controller but what they will do and what are the purpose of using these systems in our project actually model view controller or the MVC pattern is a architecture pattern it's just the style of separating out your components or the parts of your project in three different categories in that way you can easily manage your code to have you a look of what I'm talking about I will simply start a PHP tag then I close the PHP tag this refers that whatever I type here is a PHP code obviously we can also write queries we can do some logic works here and all these things are PHP work yeah that's good but we can also do something like this that means just after the closing of PHP tag we can define our HTML and also once more we can have our PHP back another PHP code okay so what this means this means everything everything related to this page is on your single file this is good for a small project but your when your project grow when your project become large then it's very hard to maintain these codes you can see still I have just not written anything this is so complicated and we cannot differentiate where our actual logics or the codes are placed you have to keep scrolling up and down to have a proper look of what this exactly will look when your project grows I have this old project and I will open any one file here let's open this one you can see I have used here this PHP tag then starting session connecting to database and doing all these core PHP works then you can see after this closing of PHP I have my HTML started and everything is here and after that again it's back to PHP and you can see I have to keep scrolling scrolling to have the HTML keep scrolling to have the PHP and again to the bottom of the PHP to have the PHP codes and this is so messed up you will feel uncomfortable and this will destroy your mind you cannot create a huge project with this type of pattern it's all complicated it's all fuzzy so what you need you need to separate out some of this PHP codes and then this HTML codes and other logics so here comes our hero called MVC model view controller okay so let's talk about views because it's very easy what is views view is just whatever you see that's good that means the HTML part the HTML parts refer to the views so whatever I have written here I can separate it out I can cut it and create a new file called view or another name whatever you want and I will call that thing view but what this controller and model will do controller 
as the name suggests controls the things and model is directly related to your database so you can see i am doing some query part here yeah that's good this query part and after that i'm assigning various things i'm doing lots of things here this things i'm controlling the data and as i'm saying i'm controlling this thing has to come up on the controller part but here comes the point where the controller get the data to control it get the data from the model so this query part has to be included in the model so this means anything related to database that means reading the database writing the database editing or any thing related to database is done via this model and what the result result is getting by the controller controller will work upon that and then it will pass that controlled data or the uh, managed data to the view so it's just like model is interacting so i will use double arrow to controller then controller is also interacting with view this means a data can flow from model to controller not directly to view the data has to go from model to controller then controller will decide in which view it has to send the data and obviously then back to this view via using form we can send data to controller which then decide in which model that means the table of your database is going to save the data so this means there is a connection between these three controller model and view one more important thing is that user will never get any relation with the model directly yeah it's all indirectly that means user interact with the view user send data via view to controller user never directly connect to the model it has to go via controller and that's why it's called controller because it control everything so in a simple word i have tried to describe the mvc pattern for you and still if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye